Rattling nerves from France and Russia to the Philippines, tax havens around the world, most of them legal but meant to be private, are now exposed for all to see. The secret world has finally been revealed. The, the wizard has been revealed. The Washington-based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists is naming the names. More than 100,000 account owners, they're found in a cache of leaked documents. In France, Socialist President Francois Hollande's close friend and Socialist Party executive, Jean-Jacques Augier, was on the list. Mr. Augier says everything is legal. Still, it could be troubling for a government that's considering a 75% tax on the rich. In the Philippines, an offshore trust said to benefit the oldest daughter of the late dictator, Ferdinand Marcos, is also on the list. She's declined to answer questions about it. Investigative journalist Gerald Ryle says he got the break on the story when he received a package containing a hard drive. What's this? It seems to crash every computer we use, you know, so I realize that the, the size of the data is, is, is huge. On it, more than two and a half million leaked banking documents from offshore banks in places like the Cook and Virgin Islands and Singapore. Eighty-six international journalists poured through them for more than a year. Also identified in the leaked records was Olga Shuvalova, the wife of Russia's deputy prime minister, Igor Shuvalova. This could anger President Vladimir Putin of Russia, who has railed against the use of offshore wealth havens among Russia's elite. She has had no comment. Those with accounts vary widely, from American doctors and dentists to middle-class Greek villagers, as well as Wall Street swindlers and arms dealers. The investigative reporters make it clear that many transactions are legal. Having cash in tax havens is not illegal, but hiding it from tax authorities is. Paul Newton, CNN, Atlanta.